thought this was like like a stapler, like fix the shit. I like, guess it's more serious than I thought. I'm ready. I'm going to give you the instructions. It's fine for him to eat, just that heavy, greasy, or spicy food. Anything for a buddy. I'd avoid that. <laughs> Look at my caffeine in me. <laughs> that was just a coffee puke. I'll have to go with the DMC on that one. Don't screw me on that, Eddie. There's way too many to fit on your whatever you got left in battery and tape. Be a rooftop or like peas in a pot, we could get together and just. I'm usually dropping knowledge. Rooftop was probably going on about something completely insignificant. Uh. Ah, oh, dude. Rosanna, yeah. <laughs> Matt was kind of heavy set, so my brother's flatland trick to get him out was roll up on the bike, lay it over on the side, jump off and do two cartwheels in the parking lot, and then come back and get on your bike. <laughs> Matt said, that's not a trick, it sure it is. What's it called? This is McCoy Dockadoy. My name is Fat. Matt, I'm from around the way. I eat 11 meals every day. <laughs> I'm storing those, dude. They only get peanuts on the Southwest flight. Every day for a couple of days, Elby lived in Manhattan, wrote for General. And then Derek, always taking off, like, coming back with Chinese food. And then I hear, like, Derek go, Yo, Elby, dinner time. Yo, D, Thorn, we be back. It's like they were trying to keep something hush from us. Me and Thorn are like, what are these dudes up to? So we're going to check it out this time. Go around the corner, see what's going on. And we see LB leading a crew of 10 other dudes that were all riding like flatland with us. In front of them is like this poor like Chinese dude on a Pee Wee Herman stop bike <laughs> delivering food. And LB's going, two blocks. Man, I can't put this shit on there. We use the word Chinaman. Well, you know what? I'm not the one that did the crime. We're going to give you two blocks, Chinaman, and then we're going to bust you. You know what? I can't do this, man. It's going to come off wrong. The dude in the front snatches the bag of food. And it's the other guy's job to, like, you know, make sure the dude doesn't follow. This guy, I guess, decided that he would chase Derek, so LB gave a little nudge to the front wheel. He ate shit into a curb. Me and Thorne just looked at each other like, did we just see what we just saw? You didn't know whether like to laugh or cry or both. It was like the coolest and most amusing thing at the same time. Taking the fifth on that, man. Yeah. yeah, I took one on the mirror tour in 2000. It was like for a good cause. There were these gypsy kids riding with us. I don't know if they were homeless or what. I could tell they were hungry. So I snatched it and fed them. Beef with bell pepper. I ate most of the beef out, but I gave them the bell pepper shit, the leftovers. <laughs> in the first 30 seconds, we're going good. But apparently flares and uh, broken hands don't really work well together. This Dennis McCoy and I just got a free brunch. At some point, this is actually entertaining me to watch this guy. It's when a free lunch if I get rid of it all. Look at the dessert menu. <laughs> it's the closing right there. It's the closing right there. He can do like soup, turkey sandwich, plain chicken breast, nothing spicy, nothing um, greasy. It could make him nauseous. What's that? Anybody tried the tri tips at Phil's place? <laughs> 